Welcome back everybody. Today me and Tigger are heading out on our very first solo camping trip. Uh, I just finished packing up the car, been packing it up all morning, done some grocery shopping, and we are getting ready to head out on the road. Hunting. I have probably severely overpacked for <laughs> this two day camping trip, or three days actually. We're doing two days by ourselves and then on the last day, my family's meeting us and we're going out and we're gonna hang out with them for the last day. It has been so hot here. It's been in the high 90s all week. And right now it is still very hot and also hazy and smoky due to the fires that are kind of close by. Well, not too close, just the wind's blowing this way and blowing the smoke towards us. But uh, I am super ready to go get out of here and go out to the coast. So everything's all packed up and ready to go, but first I'm gonna eat some lunch and then we'll head out. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock right now. We don't check in until two at our campsite and it's gonna take us about two hours to get out there. Uh, we're just going to drive out to the coast out there and then uh, drive down Highway 1 for a while until we hit our campsite. So I'll see you guys when we get there. We're here. This little campsite right here. This is ours for the weekend. The weather is significantly better out here. I'm actually a little bit chilly, even. Well, I guess I just poured some concrete right there. I don't know what that thing's for, but whatever. And look, they leave uh, some full jugs of water right here for your fires. That's nice. But yeah. This is where we're going to be for the next three days. Probably going to set my tent up right there. All right, first things first, time to set up the tent. This is my backpacking tent. Uh, it sets up with trekking poles. I have only set this thing up one time. So we are learning together today. Uh, bear with me, it's probably going to be um, messy. As you can see, I uh, struggled a little bit, but it is set up, kind of. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play around with the tension on it a little bit more off camera because trekking poles were kind of a bitch to put up and I have some stuff to fix around this spot right here. But uh, I'll update you guys later on the tent. I don't know if you can see that on camera of how the fog is blowing in here. It almost looks like smoke, but nope, that's just fog. What are those kids doing over there, huh? Oh, I know. You're suspicious of strangers. Now that camp's set up, we're going to take a walk and check out the campsite. Come on. This little spot is right behind our campsite. It's not a trail exactly, but it was cool to come check out. And there's my car. Do you love all the new smells? Well, we got back to camp and I just realized I do not have a camp chair. I completely forgot to grab it. So I drug this picnic table from where it was to the campfire. So I could be a little bit closer to the fire tonight, but I'm not gonna be nearly as comfortable and that really sucks. So here's another new thing that I'm trying. Um, I am trying a backpacking stove for the first time. I haven't opened the instruction manual yet, but I'm gonna try this thing. I have already purchased a 
if I can get it open for you. Inside, I got a fuel canister, got the stove, and I got a lighter. It's only 4.30, so I'm not going to make dinner yet, but hey, I'm bored. I think I'm just going to play around with this thing. So I've just been goofing off for the last couple hours. It's 6 o'clock now. Just started this fire. Been babying it for like 20 minutes because it's been... It was kind of a pain in the butt to get going. And she's had her dinner. And I think I'm gonna make mine now. I played around with that stove and it took me all of like five minutes to figure out how to use it. So that was cool. I'm excited to try it. I'm going for an easy dinner tonight. Ta-da! I forgot to film me putting the flavor packet in, but it's in there. And it's ready. The fire's going a lot stronger now. I would be sitting down on the bench, but the smoke is all blowing that direction, so I'm eating my dinner right here. Ugh, it's cold. Tigger's got her sweater on too. <laughs> She's passed out already. It's about 8.45 p.m. We are in the tent getting all snug all snuggy and cozy um i'll have to show you the inside of the tent in the morning when you can actually see it but uh i got my flashlight hanging up on the roof right now and i'm just going to grab my book and read for a bit and then call it a night i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning. <laughs> we made it through the night. Yeah. Take her super tired. <laughs> we snored all night long. But I slept pretty good. It's um, about 7 o'clock in the morning now. And uh, I think we're going to get up. I forgot I told you guys I would show you what the tent looks like on the inside. Oh, here's some of my junk. There's Tigger. I, her bed is just a pillow. And her blanket from home. And I got my, um, my pack with my jacket over it. And then there's me and my sleeping bag and there's the edge of the tent. Just a little two person tent, but it's perfect for the two of us. My plan today is to do a lot of hiking and kind of getting off the campsite. One of the reasons I've never gone solo camping before, even with the dog, um, is because of probably my biggest fear while camping by myself is just getting bored. And I did get kind of bored yesterday, but I didn't really have anything planned yesterday. It was my plan today was to actually like, do things, but I'm more of a people person. Um, I like having someone to talk to. So hopefully today goes a little bit better. But if not, uh, this was a good experience for me to figure out what I like and what I don't like. For breakfast this morning, I got oatmeal. I've got one packet of peaches and cream oatmeal in here and then I mixed in half a cup of just plain oats with it because uh those little pre-made packets are really sugary so I like to tone it down with this and I like to use reusable Ziploc bags. All right a little bit of time has passed it is now about 12 o'clock in the afternoon and we are here at the Gualala Regional Park 
and we're gonna go for a hike. This is the visitor center. Might go check that out first if dogs are allowed. And we're just gonna start hiking. have returned to camp to eat some lunch. It's about 2.30 right now. For lunch, I'm going to have one of these tuna packets and I'm gonna eat it with some crackers. Hot take. I swear this tastes a lot better than it looks. Well, not for puppies though. You were enjoying your sunbathing. You don't need to eat this. <laughs> If anyone is wondering, by the way, why I don't give her a blanket or anything to lay on, it's because I've tried. I've taken her camping many times and I have brought cots, I have brought blankets, I have brought her bed. She chooses to lay in the dirt every single time. She loves the dirt. Which is why you always get a bath right after camping because you're so dirty. All right, you'll get the last bite. How about that? What are you gonna do for it though? Speak. <laughs> Nah, that's a weak one, but okay. Well, it's evening again, and I'm gonna get dinner started. Tigger just ate, and she is exhausted. She was wiped out in the dirt and kind of cold. So, I put her in the car. So you can nap in there for a little while while I'm doing dinner and starting a fire. Tonight's menu is today. Oh my god, this chili sucks. No wonder it was buy one get one free at the store. I have a whole nother can of this at home I have to eat. <sighs> oh well. And I managed to burn the bottom of my pot. Lovely. Good girl. All right, let's go back to camp. Well, it is about that time to get ready for bed again. We are going to sit around until this fire burns out and then I'm gonna put water on it. And uh, then we're gonna head to bed because we are both tired pups. All right, I'm not 100% sure if I will do any more recording tomorrow because my family's coming. Um, so if I don't, then I'll see you guys later. If I do, then this video will not be over yet. <laughs> Alright, thanks.